Hello everyone, how are you today? Thank you for joining on this another live stream for today. So today is the 26th of November, 2020 on Thursday. So let's get started right now. How are you today? So every Thursdays, as you can see this um, on this page, every Thursdays I talk about Ichimoku. We will look at some charts today and I will do some analysis based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is K. Like a little K in the back. My name is K and I am a Japanese full-time Forex trader. So in this YouTube channel, I mainly talk about the markets, Forex markets based on Ichimoku and also multiple time frame Ichimoku and also lower time frame confirmations. Um, and this is actually my backbone of my strategy. And I have been using Ichimoku Kinkohyo for the last five years as one of my main strategies. And in this YouTube channel and also in this Ichimoku community that I run, um, I talk about deeper level of Ichimoku knowledge from the original book here. So I have been t reading this book more than 20 times. I think it's like up to 25 times now I have been reading through these original books of Ichimoku, but still I learn something new. So that's how deep these Ichimoku books are. And I'm willing to share the knowledge in this Ichimoku community and also on this YouTube community too. So, before studying anything here, just a quick disclaimer. All this knowledge is based on my experience, so when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So, oh yeah, so this this Monday, um, I usually do the, do the live streams, but um, this Monday, I recorded a video. And Tuesday, Wednesday, also recorded video. So, today is the live stream, um, you know, that was a Sunday. Sunday was a live stream, so, and today is Thursday. So I feel like, you know, I haven't been doing the live stream for years now. <laughs> because of this three days blank, I feel I haven't been doing the lives for a long time. But um, yeah, let's see. I feel fresh now. So let's see who's here first. Let me greet everyone real quick. Christian, thank you for joining. And Jorun, thank you for joining as well. All right, so Jorun um, is from Netherlands, and um, he is actually one of the moderators for me. So you can see his introduction here on this on my website, and also there is another one called uh, Maru. So they are the moderators in my community, Ichimoku community, and also on this YouTube public community. So if you have any questions, please ask them about the services or any type of uh, questions. Okay, so yeah, and here is the schedule, public schedules here, and also the Ichimoku membership live, live stream schedule and topics will be here too. So today is the market analysis day by Ichimoku here. So, all right, and Arukari, Karim, Kuran, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. All right. Asir, thank you for joining as well. To see you from uh, West Africa. All right. Thank you for joining. Stay Gold from Ghana. All right. WM, Lucas, thank you for joining. Sujoy, Aditya, and Tien, thank you for joining. And Danish, thank you for joining from UK. Good to see you again. And Anas, Tauhid, thank you for joining. Melanie too. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. Good to see you. All right, Gambler, thank you for joining as well. Euro GPP is looking bullish. All right, let's check that one soon. All right, Gabriela, thank you for joining as well. All right, let's see. David, Lawrence, Kayon, Roy, Vincent, Kat, Jonas. Uh, sorry, Jonas, thank you for joining. Good to see you too. Oh, first time there. All right. Thank you for joining. Good to see you. Yep, I live in Japan, Tokyo. Yes. Yes. 
My Shiba Inu says hi also. Oh, all right. <laughs> good, good. That's good. Yeah, I have a white Shiba dog whose name is Vice. W-E-I-S. So I named him Vice because um, he's white. So, um, all right. So let's get started now. So... Let's check some charts. Um, if you see any pairs that are trending right now, please type it on the chat so that we can all together look at them. So let's start to look at the um, the one you mentioned. Uh, let's see, what was it? The uh, that was Euro. Was it USD? GBP USD? Was it? Hold on, let's see. Oh, I lost it somewhere. Oh yeah, um, Euro GBP. Sorry, Euro GBP. Let's check that one. So Euro GBP, I don't have a, have that on my watch list right now. So let me check. Okay, um, Euro GBP daily chart looks to be yeah. This is bearish in its equilibrium, and also direction is bearish too. Yep. Um, the Kumo is bearish, very thick. So thickness of the Kumo means that this is stable downtrend, which is very interesting. And also, the price itself is now below the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen here, and Chikou Span below the candles too. So this is nice confirmation for the downtrend. So I would look at the lower time frames to look for where to sell. In this case, I won't. I would never look for buy chance. I would only look for sell chance, and expect the market breaks the recent low downwards this way, which is at the uh, 0 0.886 level downwards. So this is how we can actually capture the potential breakout. In this condition, I expect the market breaks through this 0 0.886 level downwards, and that's why I wouldn't wait until the breakdown. I mean breakout. I wouldn't wait for the breakout. I would already look for the sell chance and expect the market breaks down this way. Hello Shanti, Brian, thank you for joining. Good to see you too. Alright, Sujoy, thank you for joining as well. Good to see you. Alright. Oh, so Joy says, I want to get educated in Ichimoku from you. Tell me in detail how to. Um, all right, I will tell you um, how you can uh, join the Ichimoku community after the later part of this um, live stream. Because uh, recently I renewed the Ichimoku communities page, introduction page. So I will show it to you later. All right, and John, Lucas, yes. To see you. Aditya says, Mr. K, which matters more between equilibrium or direction? At the time of backtesting, sometimes the Kijun Sen direction is formed because it makes a new higher low. Um, yeah, well, actually, both are important because in this case, we expect the market to bearish, bearish in a wave like this. So it might become a um, descending triangle. In that case, I mean descending P wave, I should say, as per Ichimoku, but it's gonna go down, looks like. So, I think the equilibrium direction, I think direction is more important than equilibrium because um, if the market keeps going down this way, then you know it actually it is the bearish equilibrium, anyways. Um, but sometimes. The price is being between the Kijun Sen and Kumo like this. The price is like this. And sometimes the Kijun Sen points down and Kumo points down too. But in that case, because the equilibrium is still, you know, um, it's not bearish, unless the price breaks the Kijun Sen downwards, in that case, it's not bearish yet. So these angles of Kijun Sen and Kumo might become fake. And the market might consolidate or go up afterwards. Embrace the Kumo even upwards this way. But right now I see the prices below the Kijun Sen. 
And not only that, the price is below the Tenkan Sen too, I see the strong bearish equilibrium here. And also direction is bearish too. You see Kijun Sen down, Kumo, Senko Span A down, B down, and the, um, this um, yeah, Tenkan Sen is also down. So that's why this is bearish in its direction, strong, and also equilibrium is bearish too. Alright, um, Eng says, uh, New Zealand CHF, alright, that's trending, alright, let's check that one, next, oops, hold on, let me rephrase the frame so that you can see which pair I'm looking at and which time frame I'm looking at on this uh, left corner here. Okay, Ivan, thank you for joining, and Shanti, good to see you, oh, Tesla is yeah, oh man, that's just skyrocketing right now, so <laughs> there's not much to talk about it. <laughs> I think it's more better to talk about fundamentals in Tesla than Ichimoku, I believe, in this case. Hi Melanie, thank you for joining, yes, good to see you again, yeah, good to see you. Oh, Maru, th Maru-san, thank you for joining, good to see you. So he is another moderator in this community, thank you for joining. Alright, GPP NZD. Kijun Sen down, um, Kijun Sen daily chart is going down. One hour chart Kijun Sen also going down, looking for entry at on 50 minute time frame. All right, that's good, that's good. All right, so let's check GBP NZD also. All right, all right, I see more traders coming in right now. Thank you for joining everyone, good to see you. It's been a while since I did the live stream last time. All right, Saito, good to see you. All right, Sujoy, you're welcome. Okay, Yon, thank you for the reminder. So, if you liked today's live stream already, please press a good button before you leave so that it keeps me going. Alright, USDJPY analysis. Alright, looks like that is trending also. Alright, so let's check that one too. So, first, let's check NZDCHF. So, NZDCHF, I have it here, and this is strong bullish trend. Beautiful, beautiful bullish trend right now. It broke, um, it broke the high upwards, and now this is forming a P wave here. So, right now, as per this daily chart, uh, direction is up, and also equilibrium is bullish too. So let let's break it down to one hour chart. So in one hour chart, we see P wave here where the high, highs are getting lower and the lows are getting higher here. So it's P wave right now. And let's see which way the market is most likely breaking. So in this case, in the P wave, do you remember which lines to look at by Ichimoku? I have talked about it on the previous video, if you can remember. So um, yeah, if you know the answer, please type it on the chat. So that um, I can uh, I can see how understanding in this community is. So in the P wave like this, which lines do you look at to expect the breakout? Is up or down? Which way it's gonna break? Which one would you look at? Please type the answer in the chat if you're in front of the PC or screen. Okay, oh, USDJPY M30 is good trend. All right, all right, let's check that one too. All right, James, good morning, good to see you. All right, Lens, good to see you too. All right, Machuno Frank, thank you for joining as well, good to see you. All right, so, um, yeah, yeah. Let's see, it's been a long day today for me, <laughs> while waiting for these answers, uh, briefly talking about my thing, but recently so busy, because uh, towards the year end, we have to do lots of paperwork in Japan, you know, paperwork's like everywhere in Japan right now, so <laughs> I have been talking about the the accountant of mine to do all these taxing and everything, so, and also, 
I am about to move to Dubai now. Finally, um, we're actually apply. We're able to apply the visa from outside of UA right now. So that's why I started to redo all the process again. I mean, um, including a uh, vice, my Shiba dog vice's process. Uh, he needs to uh, have vaccines and also everything, paperwork. So I have been contacting the airport and also uh, Dubai's, um, you know, um, uh, dog services and everything. So it's been quite busy these days. So most likely I will be moving from this house to a different place before moving to Dubai. I will be moving probably to a hotel or somewhere before I move to Dubai. So that's also busy too. So anyways, it's a good busy. So it's all right. I'm so excited. All right. So, all right. I see some comments now. Answers. Tenkan-sen below. Kijun-sen down. Okay. Okay. Yep. Kijun-sen, Tenkan-sen. Yep. I consider Kijun-sen, Tenkan-sen. I have no idea about NZDCHF. All right. So, a couple comments now. I have uh, a right, breakout downwards. All right. Nice to meet you from India. Uh, uh, Ramo. Ramohan, thank you for joining. Nice to see you too from India. All right, Mohammed, thank you for joining. Bonjour. <laughs> I don't speak French, but I can recognize. Um, Sarab, thank you for joining. All right, Spam B, okay. Thank you for reminding to hit the good button. All right, uh, P Wave. Lower highs and higher lows should break in direction of main trend, which is uptrend in this case. Yep, yep. All right. So Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen cross. Yeah, Tenkan Sen. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Um, down, Kumo bearish. Dead cross, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. Okay, yep. So in this P wave, Basically, what you can see is, what you can focus is the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen locations. So, let me cancel some lines except for the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. So, let me delete Kumo. So, here are Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. The blue one is Tenkan Sen, green one is Kim Kijun Sen on my chart scatter setting. And in this P wave, which way the market breaks potentially can be captured by the location of the Tenkan Sen to Kijun Sen. So when you see Tenkan Sen to be below the Kijun Sen, like right now, Tenkan Sen here, Kijun Sen here. So Tenkan Sen below the Kijun Sen, and in this case, most likely it will break down this way. In other words, I don't look for buy chance yet. Uh, remember, we had the daily chart uptrending, so most likely it break up upwards, upwards. But I don't think it's gonna happen still because the Tenkan Sen is simply below the Kijun Sen in this one hour chart. So, what I would be waiting for is I would wait for the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross in this P wave, like this Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross. Uh, the price should come above the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. And then I will look for the buy chance on lower time frame. I will look for buy chance in lower time frame. But unless it happens, I will just wait for the buying edge. Because in this case, the market might break down, downwards this way. So always follow the major trend direction. And always wait for the confirmation for the uptrend. So I think this was a good example to uh, to expect to um, to expect the breakout in the P wave. So that was New Zealand CHF. So right now I don't recommend you to buy it until the Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen Gold Cross happens in this P wave. All right, so let's check the next one. 
Oh, um, Melanie says, uh, market is ranging though. Uh, are gold crossed cross valid in a range? Um, yes, in this case, in the P wave, yes, it's valid because we've confirmed the uptrend in a daily chart. So most likely, we can expect the market breaks upwards this way and look for buy chance in lower time frames. Make sure you, you, you have three confirmations or more to buy in lower time frames because we are following the daily chart direction, so that's all right. All right, so let's check the next pair mentioned. Hold on, let's see, that was um, Newsy CHF and let's see, NZD, ah, sorry, GBP NZD. All right, so let's check GBP NZD. So NZD pairs, I don't, usually take trace because it's so volatile on lower time frames, spikes dipping down. And usually I get loss cuts in lower time frames. And that's why, and also the spread is relatively wider in New Zealand pairs, and that's why I don't actively take trades. But let's check this one. So daily chart, Kijun Sen is going down, yep. And the Kumo is going down too, yep. So in this case, the direction is bearish. Direction bearish. And also, equilibrium is bearish too. The price is below these lines. Chikospin below the candles. So, equilibrium wise, this is also bearish. So, this is nice timing to look for sell chance and expect the recent low breakout down this way. That we can expect. Um, let me see if there's any supports in the past. Oh, there are a couple of supports here. So, in this case, Mm, it might be supported, but there's a potential breakout in this case because we see bearish in its direction and also equivalent bearish too. But yeah, so there are, there are like a four times of supports and now, or I mean, there are three times of support in the past and now we are at the fourth support level on this uh, 1.90 area. But in this case too, I still look for, I mean, I still look for the sell chance. I won't wait for the breakout because potentially it breaks downwards at this rate. So let's check uh, the one hour. Um, all right. Yep. So one hour chart. Yep. This is also bearish. Kumo bearish. Kijun Sen bearish too. And the price below Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Kumo. And Chikou span is technically below the candles. This is almost overlapping. So it's kind of losing the breakout direction. But as long as Chikou span below the candles, that will be the downtrend. That will be the breakout. So yeah, I would still look for the sell chance in this case too. And once it goes backwards, I will just exit. But I think this is another good timing to look for the sell chance right now, because if it breaks out, then you can get lots of pips as a result. So, yeah, so let's check the lower time frames. Um, yeah, this one is ranging still. Let's see, five. Okay, five minute chart also looks to be ranging. Yeah, yeah. So I would stick to the one hour chart. Or I would look at the 30 minute chart too. Let's see. Okay, 30 minute chart looks to be flat right now. Chikou span exactly overlapping with the candles. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. The price is in between the Kijun Sen and the Kumo here. So in 30 minute chart, it looks like the market is losing the power of downtrending. But in one hour, I can still see the potential downtrend. So, yeah, I would still look for the sell chance in this case, yep, in lower time frames. Okay, so that was GPP NZD. That was quite interesting. And let's see what else we can find. Um, USDJPY in 30, it's downtrending. All right, so let's see. USDJPY. Let me check that one. 
Yeah, USDJPY has been quite flat recently. So actually, I moved this out, moved this one out on my watch list. But let's check the daily chart. All right, um, USDJPY daily chart. Uh, this is equilibrium is down, but direction is flat, and we see P wave here also. The highs gets lower, and the low gets higher. So this is P wave structure. And in this case, let's see the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen. I will cancel the candlesticks for now. All right, so the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen exactly. Well, not exactly, but kind of overlapping still. Technically, the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen, so it can break down this way. But we'll see. This is Kumo flat, and Chikou Span also touching the candles. So, yeah, I think this is still range to me. So let's check the 4 hour chart. Let's see. Alright, here in the 4 hour chart, it's completely flat. So the price is exactly in the Kumo. So as soon as you see the price in the Kumo, you don't want to take trace. And not only that, in this case, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, anyways. So there is no direction to it. It might go up, or it might go down, and we don't know which way it's going. So better to stay away in this kind of situation. So I would stick to the daily chart and see if uh, it breaks down. I will draw a trend line, like this way. And I would wait for the break downwards this way. And look for the sell chance afterwards. That would be better, yes. Yep, so looks like we have some trends. Um, I was looking at a couple pairs like um, GPPUSD. I took a trade today. I was buying it, but actually it retraced backwards in lower time frame. And that's why I exited with a minus 8 pips of a stop. And now this is flat. Now, the, um, yeah, everything is flat right now. So there is no point to look for any entry chance. In 4 hour chart, this is stop trending, so this is good. So let me talk about this one, GBPUSD. So 4 hour chart, now the Kumo is up, so direction, Kumo up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, well Kijun Sen is up, Tenkan Sen flat, Chikou Span below the candles, so and the price is above the Tenkan Kijun Kumo here. So Ikuben is bullish and direction this is bullish too. So this is a good timing to look for buy chance and expect the market breaks higher to this way. So let's switch it to one hour and see if we can find uptrend. And now Kijun Sen flat, completely Kumo flat. Chikou Span touching the candle in one hour. So I wouldn't look for buy chance unless the Kumo goes up, Kijun Sen goes up, and Chikou Span breaks above higher. Then I will look for buy chance then. But right now this is flat, so it might break the Kijun Sen or Kumo downwards this way. So that's why I would stay away from this situation. Okay, so let's see. Let me come back to some comments now. And hopefully you get the idea of um, what I'm waiting for in a mid time frame. Okay, um, Morrison says, Bitcoin USD just had a large sell off after re uh, reaching ATH. Oh, okay. Let's check Bitcoin. I don't take trades, but Sometimes it's fun to look at. Wow, so this is a big spike down. Let's check the daily chart. Wow, it's actually all the way go going down to Kijun Sen area. So interestingly, Bitcoin never broken the Kijun Sen downward ever since uh, this day. Um, 8th of October, it's been still going up, but now we are at 
the next remarkable situation where the price potentially breaks the Kijun Sen downwards. So, wow, it's a, it's a huge drop. Hold on. Uh, price range, this is down like a 50%, 15%. It's a huge drawdown. Right now, it, today only, this is like a 13% drop. 13% down. Very huge. Wow. All right, Enk, you're welcome. And Melanie, you're welcome too. All right, this is a fake breakout. Looks like uptrend. All right. Yep, yep. All right. Euro USD is uptrending in higher time frame, but not yet in a mid time frame confirmations. All right. So. Yeah, better better to wait for the mid-time confirmations, always, always. So in this case, um, I wouldn't look for buy. You know, you might think that the price might be bounced off of this Kijun Sen and go up. So you might want to look, uh, you want to, you want, you might want to buy here. But I recommend you not to do that because the price may breaks the Kijun Sen downwards too. Because in lower time frames, this is downtrend. So that's why in this kind of case. The best thing you can do is stay away from the chart until we see the next up or down trend. So let's check 4 hour chart. In 4 hour chart, Bitcoin, the price already broke the Kumo downwards, and we see Sanyaku Gyakuten signal here. But because of this very thin Kumo here, it might bounce off. So we'll see if it happens or not. And also, in this 4 hour chart, it broke the lows, like a couple of lows. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and 6. 6 lows downwards. Wow, it was huge, huge, uh, huge, um, you know, drop. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, let's see. All right. Um, let's see. Can you have a look at Hansen index? All right. Let's check that one. Hansen. All right. So here is a Hansen daily chart, and it looks like yeah, this is too bullish. It could be a bullish direction bullish. So I would look for buy chance in this case. I mean, if if this were the forex pair. I would look at the lower time frames. Um, yeah, let's check the weekly. All right, weekly chart still shows flat Kumo, and Kumo hasn't twisted yet, technically, over here. So the price may retrace backwards in this case. We we better wait for the Kumo to develop up Kumo in the weekly chart. And also, Kijun Sen should come above the Kumo here too. Chikou Span is okay. Chikou Span is above the candle, so it's okay. So I would wait until the Kumo shift uh, to a bullish Kumo. And also, Kijun Sen breaks the Kumo upwards. And then look at the lower time frames to take a trade. Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're welcome about the USDJP analysis. You're welcome. All right. Kane says, uh, Mr. K, if you sell Ichimoku time cycle software M2 for MT5 support, um, I don't sell any softwares. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that software. Hello, Yatab. Thank you for joining. To see you. Yeah, I wish I have ability. To uh, to create such a thing, but I don't. So, so all right. Um, let me briefly talk about um, what's happening on this Ichimoku community recently because it's been changing a lot. Um, I renewed the page yesterday, so click on the services and click on this Ichimoku community, and you can find the new page. The cover page is still the same. This one is the same, but I've added a couple of more information like here. So Ichimoku community is the community that I run, uh, and this is about to expo uh, to master Ichimoku Kinko Hyo from different angles. So 
Yeah, so、um, here is the price is at 2,999 yen per month, which is equivalent to $29.9 USD when USD JPY is 100 yen. So this is like Forex explanation, <laughs> if you can understand. So,、um, yeah, so this is about $30.、Uh, right now, I think the rate, hold on, USD JPY is,、um, let's see, right now, oops, hold on. Um, yeah, 104. So, this is the current price right now is 104. So, that means one dollar is 104 yen. So, you can convert it to the price over here and you can identify exactly how much the price is going to be if you're based US based. So, but it's roughly about like 28, 27, 28, or 29. USD dollar per month. So it's a monthly subscription on this Ichimoku community. So I've added a couple more perks. So now we have 10 perks here. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so Ichimoku Basic Master Book, Ichimoku Basic Theories Book is out.、Uh, and these are free download for Ichimoku community members. So these are the books、um, that I wrote. For Ichimoku community members to master Ichimoku. And also, there's a members only live stream and also Discord group, which is, a, which is a closed group. And also, MT4, MT5 with correct displacement. Because,、um, as you may know, the Ichimoku displacement on MT4 or MT5 is wrong. So, we have this Ichimoku with the correct displacement that is also downloadable. In the community. And also, there are Ichimoku QA sessions. I weekly, I, you know, every week I talk, I cover these questions and try to answer as much as possible on every Saturdays. And also, Ichimoku quiz based on the chapters of Ichimoku Basic Master Book that are actually already here. Original emojis, original badges for YouTube community. And also, Ichimoku Zoom Cafe, this is a monthly event. So, well, actually, there is one on the 29th of November, this coming Sunday, after the public life, there will be Ichimoku Zoom Cafe, or we can、uh, you know, socialize face to face. So, yeah, that's actually here too. And actually, there's more to come.、Um, yeah, yeah, actually, there, is, there are you know, more, more community.、Um, Activities like I'm actually working on writing the、uh, Kushilex booklet. I don't call it the book because I think this is going to be a little bit thin, but I will、uh, mention how what is the Kushilex, anyways, and how they are calculated and how you can use it on the weekly chart basis. So that will be coming up, coming up soon in this community, and actually, there are, there are more to come. So, yeah, lots of things going on right now. So, we have,、um, if you scroll down, there are books. Yeah, well, actually, these are the PDF format. So, you don't have a physical book, but you can download these books in the community. If I were to sell these for the prices, but of course, you get for free in this Ichimoku community. And also, oh, I, have to, I, have to, I have to fix this. <laughs> yeah, I have to、uh, change it to 10, 10 perks and contents in KIC here. You can scroll down and you can see all these descriptions about these perks that you can get. So, yeah, I mean, there are so many things here going on. So, I will record the video again because this is all the way back in April 2nd. This is all the video. So, I will record the video again and upload it here so that you can have the latest information of what you can expect on this Ichimoku community. So, I mean, yeah, there are so many things going on here. So, and actually, after this public life, in about 20 minutes, there will be Ichimoku members' life. So, yeah, I will see you there for Ichimoku members. So, yeah, that's actually what's happening on this Ichimoku community. Oh, yeah, and one thing, one more thing briefly is that on this、uh, GTS, Uh, for upcoming January to March session next year, 
um, there are only two seats available. As I mentioned here, there are only two seats. So if you're interested, please uh, click on this one. Click here to sign up and um, just write me an email. Actually, this one, if you click it, it's going to forward you to this uh, contact form. So uh, you can um, yeah, click on this one and send me the email here so that I can put you on the list. All right, so yeah, let's come back to some charts and switch it to the Ichimoku membership live soon. So, all right, let me check one more uh, chart. Let's see, which one is trending right now on the daily chart? All right, these are pretty much flat right now. Still, there is less volatility right now. Mm. Yeah, AUD NZD looks to be down. Okuma flat, Kijun Sen flat, but equivalence is bearish. Chikos from below the candles. So, I expect the market go down and Kijun Sen will go down. Kuma will go down sometime near future. Because the equivalence is down right now. So, that's one. Oh, Aditya says, um, Mr. K, for the members, is there an old video recording? Um, yes, everything is saved on the archive. So I think I should mention that one too here in the Ichimoku community. But um, yeah, all these videos in the past are everything saved on the archive. So you can uh, enjoy the recordings as well. Yes, yes. So yeah, looks like New Zealand pairs are trending. And also AUD is trending too. And in terms of the fundamental news today and tomorrow, there are not so much uh, important news. So today we don't have any high impacted uh, news here. And tomorrow, Friday, is pretty much quiet too. So it looks like um, it's been, uh, yeah, I think in this kind of condition where there is no big news, a technical analysis might work unless there's any big news about the coronavirus situation or U US election, who knows what's gonna happen. So anyways, yeah, I guess um, that will be it for today's public life. So thank you for joining everyone. As always, I really appreciate your participation and support. Without your support, I wouldn't be doing this every day. So tomorrow, let me finish this one with the tomorrow, what I will be talking about. So tomorrow on Friday is going to be another live stream. And I will be talking about the market analysis by the KTS. So today was Ichimoku analysis. So I was pretty much focusing on the higher time frames to see bigger picture like PV breakout or like Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Kumo, Chikou Span things. But tomorrow is a KTS lecture, so I will be breaking down to lower time frames and I will talk about how I would look for the entry chances and also stop losses and things like that. So I hope to see you tomorrow again on the public live. And so for those who are members, Ichimoku members, I will see you on the membership live today. We're gonna cover this chapter 5 of Ichimoku basic theories book which is about time theory so let me briefly um, show you what is going to be the topic from the book so yeah this is a book that i wrote for the ichimoku community members this is the um, ichimoku basic theories book cover looks a little bit japanese right <laughs> ichimoku basic theories I have uh, my own Chinese character name K here as my time uh, as my stamp, and today's topic is about the uh, chapter five. So I will be going going over this section on chapter five. So yeah, let's talk about price theory today. So all right, thank you for joining everyone. I hope to see you again. So stay healthy and. Stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.